if you look for a great camping place around Teth village, look no more. This huge flat meadow with easy access to the river is a perfect spot. Actually, I was quite surprised meeting no people there, although the traces of the presence were clearly visible. Garbage all around again. But perhaps due to the COVID situation, there weren't as many tourists on the trails as you would expect in a place not so far from the popular Teth. This situation, however, was perfect for us. Another lazy morning in a lonesome place before the second part of the day on the trail. Oops! If you want to have the talking head in the shot, always remember to turn the mic on. So generally what I was saying was, um, this is how traveling with the dog looks like. And if you travel with Husky, you got it each and every day, no matter how often you clean the interior. And that is why I love having my portable Hoover with me. Okay, it doesn't need to be perfect, she will do it again today. She doesn't care about my work at all. After a daily portion of fast, made at an unhurried pace during which the early morning flew by quite quickly, we continued our journey along the Teflu. Its southern part is longer and much more demanding than the asphalt northern part. Also, the views that spread around are even more amazing. On the way we passed a desolate village, the prosperity of which probably passed with the fall of communism. Crumbling ruins were the only witnesses to the once bustling life here. The only welcomed building was the perfectly white Catholic church, rising alone above the abundant shelves of houses. The rest of the route is a real pleasure for overlanding enthusiasts. It encompasses miles of stunning views through twisty hairpin corners, high elevations and steep grades. Bumpy and demanding, but views justify the effort. Numerous peaks, beautifully jagged, gorgeous, steep slopes, alps-like river valleys make it hard to focus on the road ahead. Just have a look at this view.
found using a drone. The clearing to the right looked flat from the top. In fact, it would be hard to fit three cars there for a night camping. But the place itself? Again, fabulous. The river with crystal clear water flowing lazily through the valley and the scorching Albanian sun. It was a very short trip into the accursed mountains. It left a great hunger to see more. This only increases the desire to return there for a longer journey. And at the end of this Albanian overland trip, warning. Riding mountain serpentines is like balancing on a thin line. These ten were not lucky enough to survive their trip. They ended their lives on this turn. Just imagine falling down from that cliff. many more monuments of this type on these roads. Always think about safety when traveling. <laughs>